Welcome to Untold Physio Stories, a podcast that informs and educates by connecting you to rehab industry leaders who share their candid successes and failures in business and practice. This episode of Untold Physio Stories is sponsored by Edge Mobility System. Edge Mobility System is your online site for everything a PT, OT, DC, MT, ATC, or fitness pro would need. Get certified in blood flow restriction therapy or training online. Check out our full modern manual therapy seminars, ISTM toolkit, edge suspension trainer, portable tables, and more. Untold Physio Stories listeners can save 10% by going to edgemobsys.com. That's E-D-G-E-M-O-B-S-Y-S.com slash untold to save 10% off their first purchase. Edge Health and Tech Solutions. We do websites that work for you and give you an edge over the competition. Did you know that you have less than 10 seconds to capture someone's interest in your website before they click away? How about the fact that most people are accessing your website from their phone? Save thousands and get a fully mobile, appealing, and SEO-optimized website linked to your social media, email list, and Google My Business. All for one low price and no monthly fees. Why not keep doing what you do best in your business and allow us to handle the tech side? Let's get started. Find us at edgehealthandtech.com. Welcome back to Untold Physio Stories podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Dr. E, with Modern Manual Therapy, Edge Mobility System, and our four-month online mentoring program, Modern Rehab Mastery. And my co-host is... Dr. Andrew Rothschild with Modern Patient Education. All right. Welcome back, Andrew. Yeah. uh, You didn't realize you were gone, but the guests... I've had several guests (laughs) for about a month's worth of episodes, so you've had a nice holiday break. Yeah, I had no idea. I mean, I've just been surprised, blindsided by this and a little bit hurt, not going to lie. Right, yeah. But Andrew doesn't listen to the podcast otherwise, so he also didn't know. If, if I'm not on, it does, it's not that. It's not, I don't listen. Yeah. Right, yeah, of course. I, just, I don't I just, even listen to it when I am on, and I'm always on it. Just love the sound of my voice. Yes, you should. <laughs> you better, otherwise you're stuck with it. Anyway, so as a dog lover, I thought you'd appreciate this episode. Um, I thought of you, so... Every time, um, every time I see a patient with a dog, you know, at least that I suspect has a dog, I kind of get to know them. And, you know, then they usually mention something about their dog, especially now that it's in, in winter in Western New York, where typically all dog owners are happy that we finally have snow um, because it's been, it was muddy. We had like a brown Christmas. It was all muddy. Our wife hates the dog. She always wants to give them away when it's all muddy, you know, and I feel sorry for them because you let them out, they get muddy. They're stuck in the mud room for like, if you have one, you know, for hours. And then when they finally dry off, my kids let them out again immediately. And I'm all like, oh, why did you, why did you let them out? So, you know, I try to get, I try to get to know patients, but you typically know when a patient has like a golden retriever or something, or, or if they have a lab because they bring the lab in with them, you know? (laughs) Oh yeah. So I usually say something like, Oh, I could tell you had a dog or do you have a dog? And usually it's, oh yeah, how'd you know? And, you know, and then I, I point out their pants because they literally have fur all over it. And they're like, oh, they just laugh, right? So I'm like, oh yeah, I totally get it. I have a golden retriever. So um, a patient was telling me how she had uh, like a Sheltie mix and some other type of dog. And we were just talking about um, how much we love dogs and everything. And, and I tell that story. I'm like, oh yeah, every time I know that. So I told her this story exactly. Like every time I know that the patients have a dog, I can usually tell. And I was about to say something when I saw I saw your pants. And I was going to say, hey, do you have a dog? And I, I pointed to her pants. And she had a huge, huge like fur, like just a single um, big yellow hair on it. She was like, that's from your dog, not mine. I have black dogs. <laughs> oh, wow. Because she was, <laughs> she was wearing black pants. So, you know, if I actually got embarrassed and my superpower wasn't uh, a lack of getting embarrassed, that would be embarrassing. But, uh, you know, I kind of thought that was a funny story because she actually did have black hair on it, but she was wearing black pants, so I couldn't see it. It was camouflaged. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's all I have today. I thought that uh, I wanted to keep it light for a Friday funny uh, was, publishes episode next Friday. I was going to be opposite. I was going to say for us, you know, in the more mid, the mid Atlantic region, um, uh, Virginia is considered that, not the South really. Um, but uh, like the snow is like, well, actually our dog will go outside and play in the snow, but like they, she definitely won't spend as much time outside as she normally would without snow. So it's like, usually we, out, we, we, we uh, don't like the snow because they don't handle it as well down here and it's not as easy to, to walk her. And so we have a high energy uh, pit bull mix. So if she doesn't get her walk, she will just, you know, tear around the house. Oh, she doesn't like the snow? Man, my dog loves the snow. She likes like it, but she just won't stay outside as long. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because I know it's not used to the cold. Yeah. Yeah, if I don't bring my dogs in, they'll probably just get frostbite and, and become popsicles. They, they just love it. And she's young, too, so maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it also. All right, Andrew, where can people find you? People can find me uh, on Instagram, sometimes on Twitter, at, at a Rothschild PT, and, of course, uh, Modern Patient Education. All right. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. Well, you can find me, uh, Dr. E, at Modern Rehab Mastery. That's our new online mentoring program. It includes modern manual therapy, modern patient education, and modern strength training. It's three months with three mentors, so one month with each mentor, four weeks, tons of modules, lots of CEUs, learn at your own pace for a month, then move on. Um, so go beyond the seminar. You also get chat room um, with your mentees and mentors, and live Q&As every week. Check out all my products, Edge Mobility System. We have the new Edge ISTM toolbox that includes the Edge Mobility Star and the OG Edge Mobility Tool, our Edge Restriction System BFR cuffs. That's part of Dr. Kyle Coffey's Modern Strike Training BFR Certificate. Uh, I hope to see you at a live Eclectic Approach course soon. That's Modern Manual Therapy um, in U.S., Canada, and South America. And uh, make sure to rate Untold Physio Stories five stars on Apple Podcasts. You can also subscribe on Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. And as always, you guys have an awesome day.